Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I'm going to show you how I like to define TypeScript types coming from Contentful models. Let's dive in. Here I have a relatively small Contentful space with a handful of models, and I've set up a little minimal example project here with Contentful and TypeScript. Now there are already a number of tools out there that will help us generate TypeScript type definitions automatically from Contentful models. The one I'm going to work with today doesn't connect directly to Contentful, but reads an exported JSON file and uses that to generate the type definitions. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is export all of our content from Contentful. Let's install the Contentful CLI. Now let's add a new script to our package.json file. Let's just call it CF export. And then I'm going to paste in the command here and I'll walk you through what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna call contentful space export, and then we're gonna to point to a config file in contentful slash export config.json, and I'll, we'll look at that in a minute. We're gonna give it the management token so it has access to pull all of the data that we need. And right now I'm setting this to the contentful access token environment variable. If you know how to set environment variables, do that, it's a better practice. If not, you can just paste your management or your personal access token right here. And then I'm also telling it which space we're working with using that same method. And then coming over to contentful and export config.json, I'm telling it what the export directory is, what the content file name is, and that I want it to download assets. You can change your configuration to be whatever works for you. I have a really small space and I'm not worried about pulling down too much content or anything like that. Okay, so let's run the script. npm run cf export. And then we have more content in this contentful directory. Now I've got this big export.json file and that's what our next library is going to use to generate the TypeScript type definitions for us. Now let's install our types generator. That's going to be npm install cf content types generator. And now let's add a new script here. We'll call this one cf generate types. I'm going to paste this in. So we're going to call CF content types generator. That's the new package that we just installed. And we're pointing it to the export file coming from Contentful. And then we're telling it which directory to use to write our Contentful TypeScript type definitions. So let's run that script. CF generate types. And now I have a new directory here, types, and inside it, another directory called Contentful. And I have a types file for every one of my content types coming from Contentful. So let's take a look at page and each one exports two individual types. So we have the actual fields, which is going to be called type page fields. And then it also exports this type page object, which is a Contentful entry. So if we look at that entry definition, we don't just have the fields, we have the extra metadata that Contentful adds. Now you can stop there, take this, and work it into your project. For me, I often have to do a little bit more with the content that I'm pulling from Contentful, and so I'm going to actually customize these types. For example, I might want to change the way the structure of the meta information works. I might want to actually define an ID field directly on every individual content type. But if we do that, then we're going to run into a case where we're going to need to override the type for reference type fields. And I'll show you what I mean. What I usually do is create a new file that's going to have all my types in it, or you could separate it as well. What you don't want to do is put anything in this type slash contentful directory, because that is going to get completely regenerated every time you run the CF generate types script. So I'll create a new file, but I'm going to put it just in the types directory. And just to keep things simple, I'll just call it index.ts for now. And then I'm going to import all of the types from Contentful, and I'm going to call them Contentful with a capital C. And then as an example, if we wanted to say, just pass the page type through, but make that available to our app, and maybe we don't want to call it type page, we want it to just be called page, we might say export type page equals Contentful dot type page. This import works because when we run the CF generate type script, we also get this index.ts manifest, which is all of the types that are generated. They get exported from this single index.ts file. So I only need a single import line here. Now maybe my page should really just be the fields that were defined in Contentful, and then I'll handle adding the extra attributes that I need on top of that. 
So what I would probably do is change this from contentful.type page to contentful.type page fields. And now my page type that my application is going to use is just defined by these fields. And then adding a field to that can be trivial. You can use the ampersand and maybe we would add a URL path that is a calculated value and we'll call that string. And now my application would expect that I have all the fields coming from Contentful, but also that page should have this URL path property on it as well, which we would add during some transformation step while we're pulling the content down from Contentful. And so what you might decide to do is change the shape of the meta fields in here. So maybe you have a type called meta fields and you're just going to take the Contentful ID and bring it up to the top level and maybe prefix it with an underscore. So meta fields for now is just underscore ID, and then you would adjust your page to be contentful type page fields and maybe meta fields. And then you've got your custom fields that your application is going to define as well. Now, when you do this, you're probably going to do this for every single content type so that the structure of all your objects in your application are consistent. So let's say that we were going to do that also for maybe an image and a paragraph. So export type image equals contentful. And maybe we don't really have to do anything here. Maybe we don't have to add any extra fields or just our meta fields. And here we can do the same thing with uh, paragraph is another content type that I have. Now, when we do that, we now have these two types that our application is going to use. But if we look at our page definition, what we're doing is we're pulling type page fields that were automatically generated from us. This has a field called sections, and this can be a number of different types, but these types are pulled from also those automatically generated types. And that's not necessarily what we want because we want to have those extended or decorated types that add the same structure that we expect. So for example here, we don't want type image fields to be one of the options on sections we would want it to be able to be image, not type image fields. And so what we would have to do then is we would first have to omit sections when we are bringing in type page fields. So we would say omit and here, and then we might say sections. And now sections is not on page. And we can see if I say uh, page is a page, we say, what do we have available to us? And one of those is not sections. We don't have sections anymore. But what we can do then is define sections in our, uh, our custom fields here. And maybe this is an array. But instead of the definitions coming from the generator, we're going to use the types that we have generated. So we might say image or paragraph here. And now if I look at what's available in page, I have sections. And if I come down to sections, I see it can be an image or a paragraph inside of an array. Now you can see that eventually this is going to get pretty tedious. There's a lot of typing in here. And so what we can do is we can create common types to make this even easier. For example, we know that meta fields is going to exist on every object that we're going to work with. So we might say, here's a type that's called tenfold entry and and we're going to pass an argument here that might be contentful fields and then that's going to be contentful fields and meta fields and then we can clean image and paragraph up pretty significantly because we can call them both contentful entries and now we don't have to keep typing meta fields we do have to keep typing contentful entry but you can see that your base type can get a lot more complex if you need to. It's a really nice way to be able to inherit some base typing. Okay, that's it for now. Leave your questions and feedback in the comments and I'll see you next time.